Jen, Ben, there are more than 60,000 cases of the coronavirus reported in China, and more than 1,000 people have already died. To contain the outbreak, much of China has been shut down, leaving people trapped inside to stay healthy. Libby O'Connor from Watertown, Connecticut, has been teaching in China since July, living with fellow teacher Emily Francis and Francis's husband. Since the outbreak of the Wuhan coronavirus has halted life in China, the three have been holed up in their apartment in Hebei province, which is about four to five hours by bullet train outside of Wuhan. Life has changed a little bit for us because we can't go out like we used to. You know, uh, they limit who goes in, who goes out of the communities. Um, so we have to wear face masks and we're just very careful about washing our hands and what we get in contact with. It's usually, it's just to keep people safe, you know, to, um, to contain the spread. So it's okay that our city's not in any big danger. We're pretty far from the outbreak. So there's not much to worry about over here. But provinces in China aren't taking any chances. O'Connor and Francis shared their journey to the grocery store on YouTube, showing a temperature block. So before you enter a community, they have to check your temperature, just to make sure that you don't have a fever. And a lot of them now uh, have to have a little form that you fill out to say that you left or that you came in. And when they got back to their apartment, O'Connor and Francis wiped everything down, washed their hands and washed their clothes. Since they can't go to work because schools are closed, they're making the most of being home. We have to do like video calls with, our, with, my, uh, with my students. You know, I like have to set up like lesson plans and set up a camera and send over WeChat, uh, you know, videos to the students or set up times to video chat with them because we can't go to classes like they used to. Working from home to make sure everyone stays healthy. Well, we're just, we're being cautious, we're not being anxious. So you just, you take it one day at a time because you live here and you just, you do what you have to do. They say they feel lucky that their province is okay and are just worried about the people in Wuhan affected by the virus. I'm Amanda Rouse, Fox 61 News.